New this morning, after six years of public hearings, studies, planning and pricing, progress finally visible on the development of Atlantic Park in Virginia Beach. Thank you for joining us on Fox 43. I'm Katie Collette and I'm Bianca Holman. So today it's expected the final closing will occur on the largest public private partnership in the city's history. Then on your side, Brett Hall has been following this for us. So Brett, you were there as heavy machinery started to move yesterday. Yes, it's exactly five years ago this month that we brought you the story of the brain children behind this project. Three Kellum High School graduates who once thought wouldn't it be cool for a surf park to reinvent the Virginia Beach oceanfront? Well, today, with the help of Pharrell Williams, city taxpayers, and many others, a path has been cleared to do just that. No, these crews aren't cleaning up from a storm at the Virginia Beach oceanfront. Rather, they're preparing for a big wave. Developments are fast underway to create the ultimate goal, a carbon neutral wave garden surf park. Of the likes the East Coast has never seen before. You said this is gonna be the first one in the country like this. This will be the first wave garden cove facility in the United States, which is an extraordinary feat. And for Mike Culpepper with Venture Realty Group, it's been just as extraordinary feat to get to this day. It's been a long, more than three years now since City Council okayed the more than $335 million public-private partnership to bring apartments, restaurants, a new music venue, and a more than two-acre surf park to land where, 30 years ago, the Dome held its last concert. From the very beginning, we wanted to create something big, unique, something that would change the atmosphere at the resort. But before the atmosphere looks like this, 45,000 cubic yards of soil must be moved. So will more than 500 parking spaces. It's one of the reasons the city has launched a new web page to provide parking updates and a campaign to help draw people to impacted businesses. But for LG Shaw of Wade Riding Vehicles, the company that'll give surf lessons at the site, it'll all be worth it. It's gonna solidify Virginia Beach's ability to host quality surf events. To see this project come to life is pretty amazing. The same reaction he hopes everyone has once it's complete. Now, when will it be complete? That's the big question everybody really wants mm -hmm. to know. We are understanding right now, summer 2025 for the Wave Park itself, mm -hmm. the entertainment venue, there's still hope from the city because that's what they're paying for. Uh, that there could be contents there next summer. It's going to be tight. Wow. So just starting to break ground now, and there's going to be a lot of construction, as we've been alluding to. We spoke about a little early in the show. Now, uh, coming up later this afternoon, if you missed it last hour, we're going to run it again at uh, Wave News 10 at 4, how the construction is actually sustainable and how there's one business benefiting uh, right now from all of that. Good. Also, Wave News 10 midday, we should have the news that they have finally closed, and we will uh, break that on the Wavy News app when that happens. Too. It's very exciting, and it yes. looks beautiful, it so does. I can't wait to see that <laughs> yes. finished product. We'll be here for it, reporting on it then, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Brett, thank you very much. Right.